Most women have approximately one quarter of a million egg cells, which are kept safe inside her ovaries throughout her lifetime. Midway through a woman's menstrual cycle, a single egg is released from a fluid-filled sac called a follicle. At this point, the egg, which is one of the largest cells in the body, is no bigger than a grain of sand. A single sperm must fertilize the egg within 24 hours or it will be absorbed and the woman's cycle will begin again. Sperm must overcome a variety of barriers to successfully fertilize the egg. Out of the 200 to 300 million sperm ejaculated, only a small number of sperm will actually reach the egg. 25% of the sperm die almost immediately upon contact with the acidic environment of the woman's vagina. This acidic environment protects the woman from infection and bacteria. The sperm's only purpose is to fertilize an egg. They instinctively swim against the downward current of the fallopian tubes toward the egg. One sperm can fertilize the egg, after which a biochemical reaction helps prevent any other sperm from getting inside. Once inside, the sperm loses its tail and contributes 23 of the 46 chromosomes necessary for human life. About 20 hours after fertilization, the new cell splits and is now called a zygote. The cells, each rapidly dividing, have little time for individual growth, which causes each new cell to be a little smaller than the previous cell. As the cluster of cells continues to divide, it becomes a hollow ball of fluid-filled cells, now called a blastocyst. The blastocyst floats down and implants itself in the nutrient-rich lining of the uterus to begin receiving nutrients from the mother. By two weeks, the blastocyst has grown to one-tenth of an inch in length. The spine is developing, and the chambers of the heart are beginning to form. Soon, the heart will begin to beat. Just four weeks after conception, before you may even know you're pregnant, your baby's heart has already begun to beat. At this point, it's too early to tell who your baby looks like, but you may be surprised at how quickly he or she is developing. The spinal cord is already forming, and the heart has begun its life's work. At the end of the first trimester, just three months along, your baby has arms and legs, and his fingers and toes are well underway. Eyelids, ears, ankles, and wrists are already there. All major organs and systems are forming and will mature over the rest of your pregnancy. At this point, your baby is only two and a half to three inches long and weighs about one half ounce. Pretty amazing that one so small can be causing so many changes in your body and your life. Listen closely and you can hear your baby's heartbeat, which is very fast compared to yours and mine. During the mid-stages of your pregnancy, your baby's major systems are continuing to develop. By the end of the fourth month, your baby is four inches long. She is beginning to swallow and suck, and her body is now growing faster than her head. Her fingers and toes are well developed, and the buds of her teeth are starting to show up. At the end of the fifth month, your baby has gone through quite a growth spurt and is now 8 to 10 inches long. Her body is covered with a downy covering called lanugo and her hair is beginning to grow on her head. She's even starting to grow eyelashes and eyebrows. At this point, you may be able to feel her moving within you. By the end of your sixth month, your baby is approximately 13 inches long and weighs almost 2 pounds. Her fingerprints can be seen and her skin is very thin since she has not yet built up any fat. Her eyes are starting to open. 
By the end of the seventh month, your baby is beginning to get some fat on her body, and she probably weighs about three pounds. She can respond to sound and touch, and she may even suck her thumb. You'll feel her move around quite a bit at this point. Over the coming weeks, her body, and especially her brain, will grow more than ever. By 32 weeks, most of her body's systems are well developed, although her lungs still need time to prepare for the outside world. During your last month of pregnancy, your baby is getting ready for birth. She'll gain as much as two and a half pounds and grow about two inches during the final weeks. At this stage, your baby might not move quite as much. If she really slows down a lot or you're concerned she's not moving enough, contact your provider. The first step of your baby's journey probably took place before your labor even began. Engagement is when your baby's head settles into your pelvis and is sometimes called dropping or lightning. The next step is called descent and it happens while you're contracting and pushing. The baby's head may move a little to the left or right and her chin up or down as she shifts until her head is in the right position to continue her downward descent. Once she's in the correct position, flexion begins. Your contractions and the bones of your pelvis put a small amount of pressure on your baby's head. This pressure pushes her chin into her chest. Her head gradually rotates towards your pelvic bone as her head descends deeper into your pelvis. This allows the back of your baby's head, the widest part, to pass through the widest part of your pelvis. The next step in your baby's monumental journey is called extension. As your contractions exert downward pressure, and your pelvic muscles exert upward pressure, your baby's head changes position. Her head, which was curled forward against her chest, is now extended backward as if she's trying to look up at the sky. At this point, your baby's head emerges from your body. The next step, called external rotation, is when your baby turns her head to line it up with her shoulders. This is when you may possibly hear that first cry. The last amazing step in your delivery is called expulsion. The pressures caused by your contractions rotate your baby's shoulder under your pubic bone and upward. After the baby's shoulders come out, the rest of the body quickly follows, resulting in the birth of your beautiful baby.